We've been skateboarding a couple of weeks now. We just did the same loop uh, that uh, you guys seen us do. You see, uh, that's how Petito looks now um, after skateboarding. It's, uh, it's two miles and uh, we don't necessarily skateboard the whole way. Some of it's uphill, so she does get a break, uh, two breaks. Um, so if you split it into thirds, she ends up with two breaks right in the middle. And, and a strong finish, right? A strong finish. All right, we'll see what we get into today. Two minutes later, mostly recovered. Are you mostly recovered? Mostly recovered. A house cat, the rest of today. Guard cat. All right, we went and traded the shiny red 65 gear for a shiny red 67 bug. Um, musty one, of course, you can imagine, was very happy with the shine put on his car. Um, anyway, where we're at now, you can see I've got the guts exposed here on, <coughs> sorry, my 64 bug, Miss Daisy. Um, I'll zoom you in a little bit closer and show you guys what I'm going after. These pieces of hose right here that connect the vacuum advance for the, um, for the distributor. Um, they're pretty worn and crusty. I have new hose and stuff. I just don't like how, I just feel like probably there's, there may be some air getting by there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change those out real quick. Really nothing to it. Um, I'll get you guys set up on the tripod, um, and show you guys, uh, what I'm up to. All right. So. <clears throat> I've got some in stock, nice, pliable, in good condition Chinese finger cuff hose. That particular diameter. So we'll go ahead and pull this off of here. And, um, you can see already, already as soon as I pulled it off, it started to break into multiple. It's pretty brittle brittle you can see um so that was my concern was that i was getting i was having an intermittent idle problem that was not consistent and not only was it not consistent would not adjust with the idle adjustment screw so that usually has been my experience would lead me to believe that there is a vacuum leak somewhere so Sometimes I've found that it could be in the base gasket. I found it there and other times I have found it Right here in this vacuum advance and you can see in the case of this one in particular It appears as though it was in the vacuum advance. I don't know for sure, but um, we are definitely going to Put a fresh set of hose on there that fits real nice and uh, fire this car up and see if it doesn't make a difference. <clears throat> also, you can see that my fuel filter has been doing its job in there. All you people that are worried that it's going to catch on fire. Don't worry, fire extinguisher is in the car. We keep a close eye on exactly that situation right there for exactly the reason of it catching on fire. But I do want to monitor the fuel that is going into the car right now because um, this car sat for so long. So that's why that's there. All right, so I'll scoot you guys back and uh, we'll fire it up and see once it gets warmed up if uh, it wants to just sit here and idle consistently like a Swiss watch. Not to insult the German audience. I know it's a German car. A German watch? I don't know why they say a Swiss watch. The Swiss must make a really good watch, I guess. All right, we'll hit the key and see what happens.
still getting a warm. I'll bring you guys back once the car is warmed up. All right, so it's not sitting on the choke right now, and uh, I was able to adjust the idle screw and make a difference, so I think it's beginning to be a little bit successful. The only thing left to do, I think, is drive it. It's been consistently idling for a little while now, so we will take a first spin and see what happens. Bettina and I'd be happy to take you guys with us on the test ride. Photogenic, psychedelic Just trying to make a living But I just can't sell it The money I paid for the games I played Shouldn't give in until my dreams are made But you know how I... Alright, so that was our road trip, right? Patina, that was our, that was our road trip Yeah, that was our... It was? It was. It was, it was, it was And you can hear that we are still in the 64 bug And it is in fact still idling Wonderful, is it still idling? It is still idling. So, we will see what else we get into today. All right, so that's some beautiful yellow corduroy. I need a rectangle 43 inches by 40 inches. That's what I'm gonna cut out of there. 
All right, so there's my rectangle. I'll go ahead and get it cut out. I know it may look like a square to you guys, but I promise it's 40 by 43 or whatever it was I said. That's what I said, 40 by 43. That's what I said. There's a start, it's a mount. So I'm gonna do the best with the hand I'm dealt. Won't waste it all away. Save a little for another day Cause there's too much to lose That's why we're singing the blues Can you feel the cold of the heavy load inside my shoes? Don't be mad Think about the good and the bad All right, so you can see that square on my blue stuff. It is all the way, it's a rectangle. It is two inches smaller all the way around than the piece of material we cut to allow for some overlap. Can you try to make a living but you just can't sell it? The money you paid and the games that you played Shouldn't give in until your dreams are made Well, you know how I felt as I started to melt So I'm gonna do the best with the hand I'm dealt And I won't waste it all away I'll save a little for the rainy day All right, I hope you guys can follow what I'm saying here. Uh, we went ahead, this is the back side. Uh, we went ahead and glued down this edge so then when I flip it over, it'll have some place to start. We'll put the glue on the other side and then we'll smooth that material over this. Alright, we got a little glue on there. We got this uh, little roller to distribute the glue. We'll just get her right in there. Ask me if I know the best way to stretch this over there. I don't. We're just gonna figure it out as we go. If we screw this up, we will uh, we'll do it again. Just trying to make a living, but I just can't sell it. The money I paid and the games that I played. I shouldn't give in until my dreams are made. But I
All right, we're gonna let that dry, and then uh, while that's drying, I'm gonna pull part of the back seat out of the car so that we can get in there and put that piece in there where it goes on the luggage rack. Also, I'd like to take a minute to talk about these uh, really cool stickers that I have. Uh, they're from my friend Shorty. Uh, Shorty is the one who painted the You Dizzy face on the clock that You Dizzy is giving away in his live shows now. Um, link in the description to Shorty's channel. Go check him out. Encourage him to do more things with his artwork and post it because he is an amazing artist who probably forgot he gave me these stickers and also who should be putting more of his art out there for others to see, I think. So, go check out my friend Shorty. Tell him the VW Nut sent you and, uh, See if we can't get him to put out some more of his amazing artwork for all of us. All right, so it's not exact, it's not quite perfect, but nothing is for me the first time I do it. It's got a couple of wrinkles and things that I'll need to work out the first time. Um, but to hold this top edge in place, we didn't glue that top flap, we tucked it in. This is just a piece of um, window molding or door molding and I'm just tapping it down to hold that flap of material in there to hold this in place on the luggage rack. As you started to melt So you gotta do the best with the hand you dealt Don't waste it all away Save a little for another day Alright, so there it is installed in the car I think it looks good enough for what I'm going with for my first try. I'm uh, not sure if I will change it again in the future. We'll see how it looks once we get it all put together. Um, probably got enough for this video to put out for you guys, so I'll cover what we fixed this time. We went over the couple of vacuum leaks with the brittle uh, fuel, um, not fuel, vacuum advance line, and uh, took her for a test ride with Patina. Discovered that it idled just fine. And we tried our hand at making some custom upholstery for the luggage rack and decided we are moderately happy with the outcome. We'll see how it turns out from there. Alright, before I leave you guys, it's had a chance to cool down my 64. First of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here. I appreciate every one of you and we will see you in a couple of days. Let's go ahead and hit the key in this thing and see how it starts. be a little something there I need to do with that carburetor to help her start a little bit better but some of that may have just been the VW nut anyway we'll see you guys in a couple of days